What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here for a Shams bomb, Sham Sharania bomb, uh, breaking hobby news, I guess. So I'm minding my own business, scrolling Twitter, watching the Cavs Magic game, and boom, Shams drops this one on us. Fun development. Fanatics is launching basketball cards under its tops brands, beginning with the 23 24 NBA season industry sources say <laughs> okay this could mean a couple different things and we have little to no details at this point literally all we have is shams's tweet but there's only so many ways this can go because as of right now panini does not have the nba license they have the players license they do not have the NBA license. However, here's our basic paths here on what this could potentially be. It could be as uh, watch the breaks tweets a little bit lower here. You know, they have been making basketball products for the last few years. There's finest flashbacks. They did the G League product. They did uh, the McDonald's All-American team product. So they have technically been making basketball cards uh, the last few years. I don't think that's what it is because it specifically says the 23-24 NBA season. So I, I'm going to throw that one out the window and say that's. I mean, they may make something like that, but I don't think that's what this tweet is entailing. Option two. This could be a prism baseball situation uh, or a panini baseball situation where panini makes baseball cards. They are just unlicensed. They are not in their uniform. It's just the player and they Photoshop out the uniform and, and you know, it, it is what it is. They don't sell super well, don't hold a ton of value. There's some rare inserts and stuff that does okay. Some of the higher end stuff actually looks pretty nice. I was looking at some like Stephen Kwan NT stuff and the patches are really nice on them because they kind of go above and beyond because they're unlicensed. Um, so that is a distinct possibility and... Probably the leader in the clubhouse because it's the simple and the easiest. And if they go that path, this would be a way for them to kind of test things out a little bit. Different designs, kind of what, what they want to do, get their feet wet before there's any real stakes involved because it's unlicensed. And the hobby won't take unlicensed stuff super seriously. Fun collector's product. Uh, it'd be a good, cheap, fun product for kids to rip, depending on what lines they put this in. That's the other thing. We just we, we don't even know what this is. Is it tops? Is it going to be Series 1? Is it going to be a Chrome product? There's a lot of different ways this could go. So there's that aspect of it. The next one, slightly more likely. Um, it is going to be licensed, and I've been kind of hinting at this for a while. If Panini sells just the license to tops and fanatics so instead of there's been all these rumors for year for months now about top slash fanatics acquiring panini buying them out that seems to have fallen through it doesn't look like that's going to happen now but what if fanatics went to panini and said hey we know we like we can't get to a deal on the whole kit and caboodle here so we want to start making NBA licensed product immediately. How about we buy you out the last couple of years of your license and those transfer over to us? This was one of the things that I predicted on what would be their generational announcement, which obviously wasn't the case, is that Topps Chrome Basketball would be coming back. So that very well could be what is going on here. And then probably the most unlikely one is, is that they are actually purchasing Panini that the long rumored thing is finally happening and they are just gonna purchase Panini outright, which would then give them the license. I personally don't think that's what it is. If you're asking me to categorize what could potentially be going on here, my number one guess would be an unlicensed product like Prison Baseball. My number two guess would be they acquired the rights from Panini to begin making licensed NBA product immediately. Uh, my number three, and I don't really think this is very likely, is it something like this Top's Finest Flashback, uh, the G League Ignite stuff, that sort of thing. 
And then my last one will be is that they're just straight purchasing Panini outright because it just feels like that got super close. And for whatever reason, both sides didn't want to do it. Now, maybe things changed. I don't know. What's the reason for this now? Like I said earlier, it could be a little bit of a test bed for Tops. I think Tops and Fanatics, they're smart enough to realize the 2023 NBA class could potentially be one of the best ones we've had in a long time. And that's saying something. Uh, the hype around Victor Wembanyama is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, you also have Scoot Henderson. You have the Thompson twins, uh, the guy from Alabama, assuming he's not in jail, and then a bunch of other guys. This draft class on paper is loaded. Now, whether it plays out that way in the long run, nobody knows, but Tops and Fanatics don't care because you already bought the wax for that product. So if the guys go bust three years in, they sold you all the boxes and packs already. So I could see them wanting to try to get their foot in the door here to take advantage of the Victor Wimanyana hype train and try to get this product out the door before they're technically supposed to take over. So I, I think it's one of those two things. This is going to be unlicensed product or it will be uh, an, an acquisition of the license to begin producing this. Maybe they don't get football right away. Maybe they just get basketball for right now to, to jump on the Victor class. We'll see. Time will tell. Like I said, details are very sparse at this point. So we'll see what ends up coming out of this. I'm going to fire this up immediately so you guys are getting a bonus late night upload and we'll see what shakes out from here i'm sure there'll be more information from this maybe tomorrow or as the week goes on is there anything else that you think it could possibly be i kind of laid out the four scenarios that i think are the most likely uh do you boys and girls have a good guess on what it could be and then also if this is going to be a full thing what products do you want to see i mean I, I think at minimum we would get like a tops flagship paper like series one baseball and then we would get a Topps Chrome. There's really, in basketball, there's no need for a Series 2 and there's no need for an update. So you pretty much just get, like, the mainline products at the beginning of the season and that's it. So I think you see some sort of paper version and then probably a couple months later you see the Chrome version of that product come out. And that would probably be their two flagship products. And then Topps doesn't really have a go-to high-end set if they went that direction. Like Panini, it's clearly NT and flawless. Tops has transcendent. I'm a fan of Dynasty, even though it's not necessarily one of their, it's high end, but it's not super high end. Um, they don't have like a Panini one. They, they don't have a select really. I guess that might be like a Bowman's best. I don't know. There's Tops gets weird when you're working outside of Bowman, Flagship and Tops Chrome really. Uh, those are kind of the mainline ones. And then, like I said, I am very partial to Topps Dynasty. I would love to see a basketball version of Topps Dynasty uh, with those big, huge game-worn patches and on-card autos, uh, as long as it was licensed, obviously. But we'll have to see what happens with that. So curious for your guesses on if you, know, if you think it could be something other than these four scenarios. And then also, is there a particular product line that you would really like to see basketball cards in? That's all I got for you, boys and girls. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.